In this video, I'm going to show you how to create scatter plots and how to make a regression line. So remember, whenever we want to make a scatter plot, what we're working with are two quantitative variables. So again, anytime we're going to make graphs or do descriptive statistics, we're in this section of StatKey. So we're going to click on the two quantitative variables. Okay. So automatically we'll see that StatKey has a scatter plot already on here, so it lets us know we're in the right spot. And just like with the other sections, StatKey does come with some preloaded data sets. So if we click here, remember that one of the examples we looked at in class was the crickets chirping. So if we click here, notice here is the scatter plot for the cricket example. Also notice here are some summary statistics that StatKey is going to give us. It's going to give us the mean for each of the variables, chirp and temperature, as well as the standard deviation for each. The sample size. And remember, the sample size is a good way to double check that the data set was entered correctly. And if you'll recall from the Cricut example, we did have seven data points. StatKey is going to calculate the correlation for us, as well as the slope and the intercept. And then also, if we click here, show regression line, it will actually draw the regression line for us. And so notice we don't have to compute any of this information by hand. With just a couple clicks, StatKey gives us all of the information. Now you may need to enter your own data for your homework. And so if we click up here, we click Edit Data. And so notice that the edit data is very similar to um, how we entered data in the other video. The first row here is going to be what we call a header row. It's just going to identify what the two different variables are. So in this case, it was chirp and temperature, and we separate them with a comma. And then we're going to enter all of the data points, and we enter them as a pair. So for each chirp, we enter the corresponding temperature and separate it by a comma. And then we would click OK. Now we could leave off the chirps and temperature, and that would be fine. But if you do that, you have to make sure you unclick data has header row. And notice if we click OK, nothing here has changed. Now one thing to keep in mind if you're entering your own data, you want to make sure that you have entered the correct um, X and the correct Y. So if you'll remember in this case, our explanatory was the chirps and our explanatory was the Y. Well, let's say that you actually accidentally entered these backwards. You had entered the temperature as the X and the chirp as the Y. Well, no need to worry. Um, you don't have to go and put in the data again. What you can do is come up here and click switch variables and it will then put, now we have temperature on the Y and chirps um, pardon me. We now have temperature down here and chirps here. And notice it did change the line a little bit. And again, we could switch back to what is correct. So just keep that in mind. And if you enter something wrong, you can always change it that way. But other than that, this is how you make a scatter plot in StatKey. This is how you get all of your summary statistics. And you can click here to show the regression line.